All right, welcome back to the Barbell Medicine YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Jordan Feigenbaum. We're going on a field trip today. As you can tell, we're not in the studio. We're going to the gym. Big surprise. So I'll take you guys with me. We're mic'd up, so it'll be fun to hear some of my thoughts, answer some questions, do the whole thing. All right, let's go train. All right, I think this is training vlog, I don't know, 43, 42? We'll figure it out afterwards. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you through an entire upper body workout. Mic'd up. This is the last week before my uh, block changes, so last week of this stuff, but take you along for the ride. Let's get some music. We are going to listen to Morgan Wallen Radio. Not what you expected? All right, let's go. All right, starting out with uh, Penley Rose, so start the warm-up, which is Penley Rose. So I got four sets of, uh, shoot, I guess I should change it. I think it's, I guess it's checks. I think it's four sets, six to eight, five to eight. I know we did 275 last week. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a deload week. All right, yeah, so we're switching next week. So this is a deload week. Got two sets of five to eight at two out RIR. I know I did 275 last week. I did 280 or something like that this week if I'm feeling okay during warm ups. So, yeah, the warm up here is just empty bar, a couple sets of, I don't know, I don't even count. It's like five to 10, get warmed up, start adding weight. Biggest difference is it's more strict than what I do for powerlifting because uh, really what I'm trying to get out of it's a little different. Not so much deadlift strength or transference to that. It's more just like back gains. I guess I could have picked, you know, something like a. a I could have picked something like a seated row or whatever and be more strict, but I just like lifting heavy weights, so. And yeah, I put chalk on my hands first thing when I come in the gym, pretty much. And that's it. All right, first warm up set, 135. So I just set up like a deadlift, pretty much. A little bit wider grip, though, about thumbs width. Yeah, just currently trying to eliminate any sort of like hip extension and then just control it. All right, let's go up. Can't decide if I should just keep the camera rolling and then like talk to you guys in between. I don't know, you'll have to let me know if you guys like this mic'd up thing. Can't tell. I know other people do it, but it's obviously different than our normal training vlog, so you have to let me know. I feel weird talking to myself, but anyway, second warm up set, at 135, now it's 225. Usually rest minimally, slow the weights and go until I get to the work sets. So, all right. Feels fine. So, probably go up to 280. The idea is I use the same warm ups each week, and as long as they feel okay and not unnecessarily hard, go up and wait. 280, we try to do the two sets of eight. Uh, RIR range is four to two, so RP six to eight. Let's go. Big cue here, hips up high, keep them still, bring the bar all the way in your chest, control it. Let's go Morgan Wallen. Hopefully get better at counting one of these days. I think that's eight. <laughs> you guys might be laughing. Roughly three minutes have elapsed. So do second set. Didn't love that first set. Felt like a little sloppy, but see if we can improve it, be a little more tight. Let's go.
Eh, I gave myself a B for that. All right, let's move on. So, incline dumbbell bench, because I do incline regular bench the other day. All the flat benches are taken though, so this is supposed to be my fourth exercise. We're gonna make it the second, flip it, because it's a deload, and we're bodybuilding, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So we'll work up to a set of 12 to 15, same four to two RIR, so RP is six to eight. Thinking somewhere in the 100, 120 range. Start at 50. For 50s. If I take another jump, do 80s for a set, and then see where we're at. Alright, alright, so that felt pretty good. So we'll probably just go to 105, split the difference. Two sets of 12 to 15 in about three minutes. All right, 105s, 12 to 15, hope I can count. Hope I'm strong. Still Morgan Wallen. give myself eight out of 10 dismount. Uh, I rated that like a seven, so three RIR. And then uh, I'll do the same set again, about three minutes and uh, try to get at least 12. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll let you guys hang out during a rest period. Otherwise it's just me lifting weights. Uh, yeah, so the question is like why 12 to 15? I'm really just trying to make the weights as light as possible, especially coming back from the shoulder thing, uh, which is feeling great uh, pretty much right now. And also just a desire to work in that sort of, it's still hypertrophy, but still like a, like a strength endurance total rep range um, for moto, general, physical preparedness. Just not really interested in benching 500 right now. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, you guys can also notice I'm trying to like bring the dumbbells all the way down to my chest and pause for a split second, so no rebound. Um, yeah. Uh, and then why this angle? So this is just a high incline bench. Anything 45 degrees or above, I call a high incline bench. Anything like 30 degrees or below, low incline bench. Um, yeah, the higher you go, you're definitely gonna move more focused towards the anterior delt and maybe some of the upper pec. The lower you go, down to flat and, and decline, more pec, less shoulder, but the data is not super, super reliable there, and it's mostly on EMG, which doesn't really correlate to muscle growth necessarily, so I don't really care what angle you do your benches at, and uh, you shouldn't either, outside of preferences and, and obviously objective outcomes, depending on what you're looking for, so whether it's growth, strength, etc., strength being specific, growth being kind of something you have to measure over a longer period of time. Um, all right, <laughs> about another 30 seconds, and uh, we'll do this. on to the next one. Third exercise, some pull downs. Uh, let's check the rep range. Two sets of six to 10, yeah. So the 365 on there, because I just always count it as a 45, whatever it is. People are like, how much is the leg press sled weight? You know, it's like, oh, it's 45 probably. And you just count the plates like you would a normal barbell. So two sets, six to 10. 
deload week here. So let's keep them strict. like that seven maybe close to so three to four RIR you can use that you know, RPE as a proxy for reps and reserves it's not always like that like for singles they'll be different but anyway so we'll rest three minutes do it again um, yeah so you guys like to let me know in the comments do you like the mic'd up thing what do you want me to do in between sets you just want me to speed through the whole workout you know cut everything or hang out and talk to you guys so if you tweet at me or leave a comment on the video. Maybe I'll pull up your questions and answer them in between. Yeah, do you have like talking though in the middle of a set? I don't know, I think you guys gotta hear some weird noises. So this is the first time I've tried this mic'd up thing. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, before anybody asks, I'm five, 10 and a half. I weigh 205-ish. Sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more depending on the day and what I ate the day before and sleep and whatever. And then uh, so far we're 40 minutes into this workout. Uh, normally workouts will take somewhere about 85 to 95 minutes. Yeah, I don't know what other questions people normally ask. I kind of forget, I got workout brain right now. We'll tell you this bodybuilding thing is interesting. Like. You, you gotta do the same like level of focus for powerlifting, like for each set to kind of make it count. If that makes sense. Like for powerlifting, you gotta get psyched up to like execute, lift one rep heavily, or you know, a set of five or four, whatever, heavy, and focus. Here, it's like you gotta focus on execution, being strict in a way. You know, not 100% obviously, but and then just bringing the effort. Um, still, you gotta do a lot of volume, so it's hard to do that for all the sets all the time. But just a different. It's just a different experience. I don't know if I like it yet. I haven't really gained any weight, so I don't think I've gained that much muscle. I feel a little fuller, especially my calves, now that I've actually done some calf races in my life. Uh, it's the first time I'm ever doing them, so on a leg day, we'll take you through that, but yeah. All right, about another minute, we'll do this thing. I guess this deload workout's gonna take right at like 60 minutes. Yeah, normally it's not a deload. I'm doing double the volume, maybe plus a little bit more. So start supersetting stuff at the end. And then, uh, but yeah, you know, the biggest problem is like setting up different exercise stations, warming up and getting set up and stuff. Um, so cutting down the sets doesn't really save me a whole bunch of time. Cutting down the exercises would, uh, but sometimes when you're planning exercises, planning a program, it's taking into consideration how many stations you need to have, how much setup, breakdown stuff, just to add time to your workout. All right, second set, six to 10. I'll probably take this to two RIR or so. That's RP8. Would have been trash take it up to 10. next one let's go all right uh benching this is supposed to be the second exercise but now it's the fourth so we'll see if the performance is there i got two sets of eight to 12. i do last week oh, i see okay i did 260 feet up bench we'll plan on matching that and maybe beating that i'm using the barbell medicine app also so uh you guys can use your own programs get access to our templates uh you get one free week if you want to check it out so if you got an injury or something, you're like, oh, how do I train around a knee injury, low back pain, whatever. Knee template, low back pain template, whatever. Try it for a week, see if it's a good entry point for you. And uh, yeah, it's available only for iPhones right now. So if you're a Blue Bubble gang, check that out. But uh, Android one's coming soon. And we'll make an announcement for beta testers and whatever. But all right, so start warm up on the uh, flat press. Just do the barbell. All right. 
All right, so the equestrian wide feet up bench. Again, just trying to lower the weight. That was uh, after got all the range of motion back and strength back after the rehab stuff. Just really didn't feel like benching heavy, you know? So. Little hamstring cramp there, oops. Pretty warm, so just do this for one, see what the weight should be, and then do my two sets. Yep. Uh, eight to 12, two sets. Same thing, four to two RIR, so let's go. Hopefully no hamstring cramp. Not confidence inspiring when the bench creeps while you're setting up. Oh boy. <laughs> RP6 for RIR. Do another three minutes, do another set. Drake says we gotta do at least 10. Hey, it's up. It's that creep again. Again, not confidence inspiring. I wonder what these benches are rated to. <laughs> Let's say that was somewhere between 10 and 12. I lost count. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, getting into the end of the workout. Some arm stuff now, triceps, press downs. So today is uh, regular press downs, overheads on the other day. Got two sets, 12 to 15. Pump the tries up for the guys or something, whatever that is. Ah, that's probably a little light. All right, we'll go up. So now we're trying to bump the RPE up a little bit. So take it all the way to at least one, two to one RIR. So RPE eight to nine. A little difference, but isolation stuff, you just don't worry about, you know, how kicking your coverage, too much fatigue for incrementally more stimulus. Rest two minutes this time. Just because again, it's deload. Two sets, not gonna really make a difference here. Oh, it's three sets, that's right. Yeah, okay. Same thing, two minutes. Yeah, one thing is like you go to different gyms and they got different pulleys and leverage ratios and stuff like that. So like, how do you warm up? You know, I just like doing the same reps that are for the work sets all the way up, you know, add a little bit of weight. Um, a lot of times I can predict it just based on how it feels on rep one or two, get pretty close. But 
I normally use the other, like a double pulley type set, set up on the end of this particular apparatus. I don't normally use this one, so I just kind of guessed and I was a little off, so. All right, we'll get better here on the second set. That was better. All right, two minutes. See you guys again for the last set. All right, what do you what do you predict the response is going to be to a mic'd up workout? To a mic'd up workout? I think it's really big right now. Is it a thing? Yeah, I've noticed. I mean, again, I'm not an influencer, so like. I I purposely stay away from other fitfluencer material. I'm like, we're like, I don't like most of the stuff. Like there's that one girl. I don't know if her name. Or, or whatever variation of those. We'll things. bleep that out for the two. Right? Yeah, yeah, all right. Like she was doing some with a couple of girls the other day. Oh, okay. I noticed that it's just been, it's been happening more. But I think like, I thought about it, cause I really have a mic. I thought about for me, but it would just be a bunch of like degenerative like, Yeah, like, yeah. There'd be a lot of self angry That's what I'm saying. Like, so like I'm breathing hard. So there's weird noises in between, right? So I don't know what it's going to sound like, but uh, it's weird noises like while I'm doing stuff. And then it's like, all right, so you're watching my rest periods and I'm like talking about stuff. I have to get field questions from the YouTube are you comments. For a post or what are you no, at? no. So I just post it on my YouTube, right? Uh, and oh, so then long format, absolutely. So it'll be fine. Long format, I would, I think long format, it would be so much better because then you're actually acquiring something other than just like a visual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're actually getting the inside of what's going on while it's going on and then your thought process between. All right. And even like your thoughts to yourself would be valuable in the sense that you've been doing this how long? Yeah, 15 years, yeah. Like, All right, well you heard it here, you heard it from Dakota. <laughs> he said it's going to be a win, so we'll see what you guys say in the comments. Unless it's just a weird ASMR thing, because in which case I don't think that my, my stuff is not ASMR. You gotta talk a little slower, a little deeper. Get into it. Breathe on the mic. <laughs> yeah, make it real breathy. <laughs> little triceps, come on. on. Second to last exercise, I got this and some curls. So reverse delt fly. I like doing them like this. Get a little more, you get a little more action in that upper back. That's what I want. Just grab on the ropes, straight elbows. Last set of, it's supposed to be six to 10. So let's see if we can get another 10 here. Let's go shoulders, come on. Straight arms, let's go. Tricep pump after that too. <laughs> Three sets, 12 to 15. Second set, 12 to 15. Again, trying to get to RP 8, 9 ish. Might have been too heavy. 
Yeah, uh, I don't really obviously use machines that much. I don't love them personally, but I've like literally never done creature curls before uh, for this block. So I'm just doing them as like a different type of biceps exercise that I've never really done. Most I've done is usually just dumbbell or barbell curls. Um, usually only when my elbows will start hurting. So just do something direct for them. Uh, but yeah, not a lot of biceps curls in powerlifting for me or really at any point during my development. So uh, this is just different. <laughs> Still is different. And uh, yeah, so I'll probably actually go down and wait and add one of these guys. Give it another minute or so, get my third set. Last set, I kind of wish this thing went down further or maybe like that was like a, like a handle. You could like unrack it and then let it go down further. I hope I'm not doing preacher curls on my next block. I do not like them personally, but if you like them, they're great. I like the ang I like, you know, the ease of setup. Yeah, maybe there's a reason why I've never really done preacher curls before. All right, last set. Oh, yep, that's it. All right, that's a wrap. Uh, like, if you guys like this mic'd up thing, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see next time. If you got questions, maybe I'll answer those or whatever. But uh, yeah, this is a upper body workout here on the Barbell Medicine YouTube channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Catch you next time. See ya.